Welcome to Canadian Innovators, the show that celebrates innovation, entrepreneurs, and the Canadian spirit. I'm Jocelyn Bamford, and every week we introduce a new entrepreneur or expert in the economy to tell their story and unpack the challenges of keeping jobs in Canada, as well as share ideas for economic growth and prosperity. Our guest today has made the transition from professional hockey to the world of Canadian innovation and entrepreneurship. Mike Weaver is a former NHL hockey player turned entrepreneur. Mike acquired a scholarship with the Michigan State Spartan and spent four very productive years in the CCHA, now called the Big Ten. That included two first all-star team nods and two best defensive def defenseman awards. Mike began his NHL career in 2000 with the Atlanta Thrashers before moving to the LA Kings, St. Louis Blues, Vancouver Canucks, Florida Panthers, and Montreal Canadiens for a total of 633 NHL games and over 1,000 pro games. Mike was fortunate to be a part of the Turner Cup IHL Championship with the Orlando Solar Bears and the Calder Cup AHL with the Chicago Wolves. He was also made all-star team in his second year. Mike retired from professional hockey in 2015 and began his career as an entrepreneur. Welcome to the program, Mike. Awesome, thanks for having me, Jocelyn. Well, Mike, tell us about your journey to the NHL. I'm sure that's a dream most Canadian uh, youths have. How did you get there? Well, it wasn't easy. Uh, I made it as a 5'9 defense, de defenseman that ate pucks for a living. Um, I was told uh, at, at every level that uh, you should you play forward, um, you're too short, and I defied the odds. I remember I wrote uh, an article for the Players' Tribune, uh, Tales of the Un Undrafted Puck Eater. And it was, uh, I remember at one point, I, I was never drafted. Um, I ended up signing as a free agent and it's crazy how uh, one year led to the next and uh, here I am uh, uh, 600 uh, games into it it's uh, pretty uh, amazing an amazing story uh, I love the the never say die attitude that's what uh, Canadian innovation is all about so Mike as you reflect on your career what was the greatest achievement in your hockey career I'm going to say creating my hockey school was just amazing. It kind of, uh, I got a full, full, full ride at Michigan state. I got a telecommunication degree, got a minor in virtual reality, software development, web design. And, and a lot of uh, players in university don't really take, uh, they take basket weaving classes. I ended up, the odds of me playing in the NHL for so many years was very, very short. So I ended up going and uh, creating a hockey school. And then from that, I just found it very tedious to go draw drills and over and over again. So I created Coach Them, um, which allows coaches to go digitally create their drills. So it's funny how everything kind of uh, went together and I found a problem uh, that I ended up coming up with a solution. So if you had one highlight in that hockey career that you had, uh, could you tell us about that uh, when you were playing hockey? Well, I'm going to say there's probably two of them. Um, obviously, uh, uh, when I went to uh, Game 7, uh, beating Boston in Game 7 when I was with Montreal Canadiens was just amazing. We ended up losing against the uh, uh, the Rangers in the, in the semifinals, but that, that run with Montreal was uh, pretty remarkable. I'm going to say uh, one thing that a lot of people don't remember was I was a part of the all-short team. Uh, which uh, St. Louis was one of the forwards. I was one of the defensemen. I can't remember the other guys on the team, but it was uh, pretty awesome that that I was uh, a part of uh, um, just amazing individuals on there that basically uh, uh, were, were short and and basically told not that, that they weren't going to make the NHL. Yeah, love it. Love uh, uh, being able to overcome a challenge. So let's talk about the transition from the NHL to the business world. We just have about 30 seconds. Uh, tell us about uh, that transition. Well, the, the transition, a lot of people don't realize, a lot of fans in the stands don't realize how difficult it is to go and make that transition. Um, going, a lot of people don't, you prepare your 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 skating ability and your strength and everything uh, for the in season, but a lot of players don't prepare for after after the their career. And, and, and they're kind of almost, uh, 
not knowing what they want to do after. And and at the time that they retire, it's it's almost a little bit too late. Uh, they have to redefine themselves. So, so we're gonna, we're I'm going to stop business. you there, Mike, because we got to go to break. We're going to take a quick break. More from Mike's entrepreneurial adventures when we return.